Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of calculating personal budget. This is standard 7.13b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 3 of the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got Alberto's monthly income. We've got that as $3,200. And part of his monthly budget is shown below, rent, groceries, savings, car payment, and utilities. So our question here is what percentage of Alberto's income is used to pay for, we've got two things here, rent and groceries. So we need to do a few different things in order to get from this money here into a percentage. And so really what we're going to do is we're going to start with a fraction. It's going to be the easiest way to understand this. Uh, we are going to change that fraction into a decimal. And for most of us, once we get that into a decimal, it's not very difficult to get that into a percent. We're just going to move the decimal place two times and we have a percent. So the fraction is going to be the hardest one for us to visualize. So let's, let's take a look at it here. So remember our, our numerator here is going to be our part, right? And our denominator is going to be our whole. So we need to, if we can get that working, then we should be okay. And so our part is going to be rent plus groceries. So that's going to be R plus G. Our whole, they go ahead and give us the whole monthly income here at, at 3200 So we can just go ahead and put that in there. So our rent is 896 Groceries is 384 all right, so that's going to be over 3200 Obviously, I've got no idea what that is, so let's add these two together. 896 384 So that's 10. That's 18. That's 9. That's 12. All right, so 1280. So that's 1280 over 30. 200 and we can actually uh, do something to make now we got to divide we have to turn that into a decimal by dividing up that's going to be a pain but we can divide both sides by 10 because look at i got these zeros here let's just drop the zeros all right so i'm going to have 128 over 320 so we turn from a fraction into a decimal by dividing that 320 into 128 obviously it goes in zero times but that's fine. That gets us our decimal, and we can keep going. So we're going to add a zero there. Hmm. Three goes into 12 four times. I wonder if it's literally that easy. I wonder if it's going to be too big there. Three goes into 12 four times. Yeah, there's that eight. All right. So there's that. So that's it. It's just going to be that, that 1280 right there. All right, so my fraction, look at this, was 1,280 over 3,200. Uh, to make it a little bit easier, I took a zero off of each because you can divide both sides by 10. That turned me into a decimal of 0 0.4. See how easy it gets now? If we could have just started with that, would have saved us a whole bunch of time. So how do we get from a decimal to a percent? Well, you take the decimal spot and you move it over once and twice. It's like multiplying it by 100. And there we go. We get our percentage of 40%. So a little bit less than half of the income is used to pay for rent and groceries. And so our answer here is going to be A.